Hello everyone and welcome to IXAMB. So in this video we are going to discuss about the topic that is DDL data definition language commands in DBMS. So we are going to look about the overview of DDL and the various commands which we use in DDL in operating system. So what are the DDL commands? DDL command is an abbreviation of data definition language and it is a part of SQL that is a structured query language. It is used to create and modify the scheme of database and its objects. So in database we have a schema of our database and for their objects as well. So that particular template or schema is modified by the DDL commands and it deals how the data should actually exist in the system. Now what are the various DDL commands? Various DDL commands are create, drop, alter, truncate and rename. So these are the five major commands of DDL which actually modify the data uh, from the schema perspective as well as the data from the objects perspective. So now we are going to look uh, at each of them one by one. So first is the create command. Create command is a DDL command which is used to create the databases or tables, triggers or you can say any other database object that you want to create. So what you have to write if you want to create a database. So you have to write create database and then the name of the database. So the things that are in blue are the part of the syntax uh, and you have to write them as it is and the database name is the user defined database name which you can put as per your understanding and as per your application demand. Now create database, database name, this is the name of the database that we are going to have for our database. Now create table. In when we are going to create a table, we have to give the table name. Then we have to specify the column names. Okay, so what all columns will be there in the table. So keeping that all in mind, n number of columns can be there and there is no restriction on the number of columns that you can put in the table. You have to specify the size of the column, like what is the size. Let's say if something is of a string, so what uh, number of characters that particular column is allowed to have. So you have to specify the size of that particular column as well. By this met uh, method, you can create the uh, table in the database. Now coming to the next command, it is drop command. So drop command is also a DDL command and it is used to remove or delete the database object from the SQL database. We can easily remove the entire table as well or the view or the index that we create over our table in the database. Okay, and how we are going to do it? We can write drop database and the name of the database that we want to drop or else we can write the name of the table that you want to drop by writing like drop table and the name of the table. And similarly for dropping an index, we can write drop index and the name of the index. So these are the three things how we can drop the particular database table or index in a DTL command thing. Now the next thing is the alter command. So alter is also a DDL command and it basically uh, is used for modifying something which is already existing. So sometimes we want to change the existing structure of the database and there we want to change the schema of the database objects as well. So for that matter we can do use the alter table command and here we can write like alter table the name of the table which you want to do uh, the alteration then adding dropping or modifying. You can add a new column, you can drop the existing columns or you can modify the type or the size of the existing column. So these are the three things that you can do with your alter table command. Now the next thing is the truncate command. Truncate command is the command which is very uh, useful and here it will delete and remove all your records from the table. Okay, so here you can have truncate command like truncate table and the name of the table. So now everything will be deleted in the which is actually the data of the table and only the skeleton of the table will be there and no data will be there. So it is truncate command. So be careful while you use truncate command because your data will be lost at once in the entire table. The last command for today is rename command. So rename command is also a DDL command and it is used to change the name of the database table. So now what you have to write, you have to write rename. Uh, rename uh, is basically the thing which you have to write in blue as well. So it, it has to be written like this only. Rename then table, the name of the old table and the name of the new table that you want to have. So what name was old and what name was new, you have to identify it in between the two uh, syntax. Okay, so the, by this method, you can actually rename the table in the database. So this was all about the DDL uh, commands in database. We will come up, come up with the D, DML command and the TCL commands in upcoming 
videos if you like this video do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and prepare 50 percent faster with us do visit our website that is www.helloexambi.com and if in case you have any query you can reach out to us at the number and the mail which is showing on the screen right now so for that time i'll be taking a leave and see you in the next